Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Anki. Welcome back to our co-op on Total War Attila with the Jutes and Picts on Legendary Difficulty. So last time we left off, you were being attacked by the British Britannic Rebels in Carinium, also Lindinium, but they just took that and now they're attacking you Carinium. Um, <laughs> one thing that happened differently in the end turn sequence was, was that the Caledonians uh, actually raised this town, which you were gonna, or you were thinking about taking because they sacked it last turn, which means there would have been nothing in there, so you could have easily just swooped in there and t taken it. Pretty uh, much, yeah. I mean, the, the plan to take it was just to take it, knock down the buildings to get some income from it. Right, yeah. Um, I wouldn't have been able to defend it or hold it, so you just go in, you take it, you knock down the buildings and get the income from knocking the buildings down. Um, it's... It's actually more income than raising the settlement, and you don't get the diplomatic penalty from raising the settlement. But the Caledonians, as you say, they've gone in, they've bloody raised it, so there's a salt resource gone there as well, which is a bit of a shame. Do you get that uh, back when you fix the building again? I it'll cost. So. What what happens when you go to um, a raised because it's now desolate land? Mm -hmm. It takes your overall army size. So if you've got five units in your army, it's going to cost you a lot more money. It'll cost yeah, you like no, thirteen thousand. I, mean, I know that, but I mean, uh, if you um, like, if you rebuild the city, does it give back the salt resource as well as a like makeable building, or is the salt just yes. gone forever? No, oh, okay. no, the salt resource is still there. So if I if I go and, and resettle that, uh, the salt resource can be retaken. Okay. So, cool. but I, I probably won't do that. There's um, another sort of separatist Roman separatist faction. I think it's Gaul that's there. They chances are they may move over and do it for me so i might sit and wait on that one and see if the ai will resettle it for us all right saves us spending money but before all that there's a fight to be had indeed yes carinium um this is going to be uh the general uh the question mark unit i've got on my screen and that's likely to be a cavalry unit uh possibly um maybe roman spears the only problem I've got is the Onager because I've got no cavalry that I can uh, go and charge that down. But uh, the general charges in against my spear units. I should be able to win this one. Hopefully. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to fight this one out. Let's do it. Oh, it's even your favour on the battle meter. Yeah. Yeah, it should be an easy defence. Well, let's see how easy it actually is. Yeah, the Onager unit could be annoying, actually. Just gonna wait it out, or are you gonna yeah. try and send the unit at it? The slingers could be quite dangerous as well. Um, yeah, true. Oh, and they've got a calf, but you've got spears, so that's good. I mean, so in yeah, general, uh, general's a calf. That sword unit there, I can't remember the unit abilities, but I think they don't have the tortoise or anything like that, or testudo. Um, I'm sure they've just got rapid advance. Good. I mean, still early game, so early tier units. Shouldn't be too Defending good. Defending it might be a bit of a problem. Right, some, I mean, I don't like the way I've got... I've got three... Looking at the map already, just waiting for it to load in. There's three points of entry into the main town. So depending on where it gives me the barricades... Uh, I might have problems. Indeed. I prefer the sort of Germanic... Ones they've only usually got two points of entry, so you can barricade one and double stack your spear units on the other. Yeah, yeah. I've barely ever played on the Roman uh, defense or offense battle or the, well, the sieges anyway. Oh, my learning screen is taking a hell of a time today. Yeah, mine too. Go on, game. It's your birthday. You can do it. It's your birthday. All right, mine's loading in. Oh, it's nice and snowy. Hi. Uh, right, well, let's see where they're coming from. Uh, boom. They're all there on that side. we got two archer towers uh, there, and that's good. Yeah, I'm wondering if if I defend on the walls or tower humping, as I call it, which is basically sitting a unit right underneath the tower, which prevents the enemy from taking the tower. Could be an option, but it'll give it'll put me... Especially with the units that I've got, uh, they've not really got great missile defense. So I'd probably get chipped away like crap by the Onager in the. Um... Yeah, I'd say defend in the actual yeah. like town center. It'll be easier, and and it will take the Onager a while to get to you as well before it starts firing, and they'll get torn apart by those archer towers anyway. Right, so. Um, I'm gonna 
have to set it up like this, I think. I don't particularly want to set up one unit on its own because it might just get battered. But uh, I'll set them up in uh, one unit covering each entrance and I'll put a barricade on the one on the right. And uh, that should be that. Do you want a unit? Uh, I guess. Right, I'll give you the general. Alright. I will guard this entrance with my life. I'll speed this up a little bit. Yeah, that's a good idea. If you're going to change this position slightly. Just a tiny bit. Alright. All right, let's watch them advance. Lost 20 men on these sword units so far. Oh, I'm just firing at your other tower. I guess that's good. That's well, they're missing quite you. a bit as well. Right, back into normal speed now. now. Yep. So, yeah, the general charging into a spear unit would be great here. Yeah. But uh, I took fire at will off on the... Oh yeah, I was going to say, because they're not throwing, yeah. I wanted, uh, I wanted to uh, basically chip away at the sword unit. Um, cavalry hitting the spears is, is just... I'm going to win that one, I would imagine. I would hope so, yeah, otherwise the spear unit should probably just resign if it doesn't die. Uh -huh. I end up doing quite a bit of damage there to the uh, sword unit. If no, they're all going that way, if you want I could try and run around, actually no, uh, I don't know what that sword unit is doing, I was going to say I could try and flank those uh, funditores, if you want. Exploratories. Um, the, uh, the slinger unit. It's, just... it's looking as though I'm winning here at the moment. Um... That sword unit doesn't know what, how it's going to yeah. do, does it? No, it's just back forward, back forward. My well, skirmishes to do it, yeah. I'm going to break their uh, thingies at the moment, so rear charge might be a good idea here. Alright. Oh, yeah, well, they're engaged now, so. Send my men over. It might be a while before I get there, though. I could, send, I could just send them, like, into the rear of your own men to make. Oh, actually, never mind. Oh, I should be able to get there in time. That was a quick rally. It was a very quick rally. Uh. Come on, men. They cool if they added a slippery mechanic, like when there's snow, your man just fall down. <laughs> spear the really like the guy, in, <laughs> spear the guy in front in the back accidentally, losing your own men. <laughs> All right, so the slingers have outranged me now. Um... Do you want me to go for them or charge the uh, sword units in the rear? I guess over for the sword units. Yeah, if a rear charge is probably better. Yeah, let's break everything. Experience holding on quite well still. Yours. Yeah, luckily we've got spear wall here, so it's it's good for defending. Um, the enemy are losing ground. Anyway, we've got a general kill now, so that's it. Uh, I'm not going to get any damage in. Quickly, <laughs> men. Run. No, that unit's routed altogether. Oh, I'm gonna. I might actually get some of the like cleanup kills here. I was going to say, yeah, if you want to charge into them anyway, and, uh... Right, there we go. Oh, they're all running the wrong way, damn it! Get it back here! I wanted your crew routed as well. The general's gone. Might be, oh, here we go, yeah, I might be able to clean up this food, or exploratory's unit here. Yeah, if we can uh, get rid of them, that'd be... Rebellion out the way. Indeed. I'm going to use the um, skirmishes to chase down their skirmishes because they've got rapid advance, so I might be able to entangle them. Oh my god, some hats are being lobbed off over here with spears, of all things. Some what, sorry? Some hats are being lobbed off with spears. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to go one. I need to get that update. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's extra gory this time around. Didn't they add puke and stuff to it? Yeah, um, like when they're... I think that's a normal update. I'm not sure if that's part of the blood and gore. But yeah, when there's like the uh, the army's plagued or something, or it's got the plague, they uh, puke and <laughs> diseased and shit. It's funny. 
I've actually never seen it myself because I've never had like the plague in my armies, but I saw the video. Alright, this exploratory unit is dead, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna you... speed this up and uh, yeah, I'll see well. if I can get the rapid advance out and get into that uh, skirmish unit. Oh, yeah, maybe. My spear unit's being very lazy today. Come on, gun in there. Looking like I'm catching them all. Yeah, they're all like beaten down. Sad. Actually, they don't even have their heads down or anything. They're just not really running, those Funda Torres. They're just sort of like just jogging as if it's not like they're being chased by an enemy army or something. It's just like they're just going for a jog in the morning. <laughs> yeah, they are jogging, aren't they? Well, some of them are walking here. I think I've got them. Yeah. Your men aren't really that enthusiastic either. Oh, they're tired, I think. Oh yeah, they're exhausted. Maybe in the snow they just don't bend their head down because they already walk slower, I don't know. It should be a thing that you walk slower because, I mean, you always walk a little or run a little bit more carefully. Oh my god, you just slaughter them with spears right I there. Just, I was like, <laughs> That's crazy. One, <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking slaughtering going on right there. That's just disgusting. Do that again. There's no need for that. Oh my god. The blood looks really good in the snow, actually. Oh my god, this guy had like four through his head. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I really need to get it. <laughs> I suppose I should, really. I'm just a bit sort of like. Oh, and the last volley. Yeah, that's them gone, so... Nice, uh, yeah. Land battle there. Oh, this guy's got two in his arse and he's like, crawling <laughs> around. <laughs> Heroic victory, oh, well done. I, I did so well in that battle. I ran all the way around like a hero. <laughs> well, that's at least Karini undefended. So that all that's left is the Dionagi unit. It should... It should clear out this, uh, this army now. I don't think it'll be there. Frustrating if it is, because it'll come back with another four stacks next turn. Yeah, although the, it is a rebellion, which means that your time will become a little bit happier if it does stay alive. Yeah, true. That's one good thing. Um, 170, ransom them. Well, at least they didn't right. get a uh, good thing about that. Oh, actually, the, even though it's still a rebellion, your town isn't getting any happier, happier even. That's kind of yeah. weird, because you'd think that, like, it's still a rebellion. I guess because they're not recruiting units, so as long as they don't recruit units, it doesn't become up here. I don't know. It seems a bit weird. It does a little bit. It might be because it's part of the province where Londinium was. Um, and Londinium's because, untaken, look, yeah. Yeah, Britain's took Londinium now, so... It's a good right. Point. Oh, yeah, you had your oh. second army coming over as well. Got a lot of forces over there. Maybe I should send my navy over to help you. Actually, I don't think you really need help, but because it's more public oh. order, isn't it? I'm gonna hold that. Uh, the public order is still a bit of a problem. It's... Where's that other army of mine? Where did did I land my army? I must have done, wasn't it? Yeah, it's right in Camelodunum. Oh me? yeah, east of Londinium. I wonder if the Saxons are coming over to help you as well or something. I mean, they are right there with one of their armies. I'm not sure who they are at war with besides... Maybe... Uh, I'll have a look now, see the Saxons. They're at war with Rome. It's the only people they're at war with, so they might be moving, mm. uh, you know, Be Belgica way. Yeah, going on a bit of an adventure. <laughs> but yeah, the Rotomagus here being raised. Uh, never mind. It happens, I suppose. Um, so what I'm going to do with my fleet, I'm going to take that straight back. I'm going to continue. In fact, no. Scratch that. I'm going to park it in Camilla Dullum. Hopefully I can recruit some basic uh, ships with it. Uh, what do I need? Take one unit of those. Three units of... Uh, no, two units of those, two units of the melee. And let's just have a quick look at buildings now. There's not much I can upgrade, really. I'm trying to remember what I was upgrading. Right, Prime Forest. Let's get some trade materials. 
nothing to upgrade upgrade in Britannia Inferior. But Britannia Superior, yeah, it's empty, totally empty. Uh Iron. I'm trying to remember what iron boasts uh, industry, I think, so I'll probably upgrade that next turn. Do some repairs. Right, quick look at the diplomacy. Let's see if I can trade with the Ruggians. Probably not, they don't like me. Who does, really? Nobody likes me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at war with quite a few factions, actually. I don't know. Oh, dear. Latsia, or Lazica, the Burgundians, the Varinians, Britain, Eastern Roman, the Danes, Western Romans. Wow. And I'm just sitting here at war with the Danes. I think that's it. You went to all those wars for me. I'll appreciate it. I think it was, actually. Yeah, you pulled me into all these wars that I can't get out of now. <laughs> well, I don't know right. if I necessarily pulled you in. You just uh, voluntarily said, hey, I'll destroy those enemies for you. Well, I got a peace treaty with the Varinians. We're not going to go for trade. Uh, let's see if the Burgundians will go for peace now. No. And Britain? No, oh, I don't want peace with those because I want to take Londinium back. The Danes? You're still at war with the Danes, aren't you? I am, yeah. Okay, well, well uh, Eastern Roman Empire. I don't really want to be at war with those at the moment, but being at war with them is not a major thing. And what it'll do is when I finally discover the Sassanids, it's likely it'll have improved my diplomatic standing with the Sassanids quite a bit. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, another battle for my turn. All right, let's do it. Uh, I could win this on auto resolve. I don't of... think we've seen a big battle for a while, have we? So I don't mind fighting one. Is it the one for Londinium? Yeah. Yeah, yeah go I'll for give it. you the uh, reserve army. Oh yeah, it's uh, it is it's Ottawa's old wall, but pretty tough still. All right, let's do it. Oh, I wonder if it's my PC that's actually uh, slow today. I don't know, my loading screen's a bit meh as well. They have uh, breaches in their... in their walls, by the way. Which could be useful. Well, that's gonna be hot, yeah. Of course, yeah, I didn't repair anything, I just let it... Uh... Uh -huh. I it was attacked last turn. It, well, it, was, it? it was tactics, that's why you did that. You didn't repair them on purpose, because you knew they were gonna take it eventually anyway. <laughs> it's an interesting holds, town, though, with the, uh, the river, like, crossing through the middle. Tem, I guess. Thames. Yeah, it is actually. That's gonna be a. Like a... Oh wow! A whole corner of the walls is gone, with the towers down as well. Oh, that's good stuff. Let's see where I'm gonna attack from. I uh, bet yeah, they're like super unhappy because of settlement damage as well, like morale, and debuffs, and all that. Uh -huh. Yeah. The, wow. The whole bloody settlement. There's nothing left. Let's go back. There's nothing here for you anymore. It's all destroyed. I don't think I built anything here. I think I just took it, raised it, knocked everything down, and went, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, loading screen, what's going on uh, here? Yeah. I think my PC's got something going on. Alright, here we go. Let's have a look. <laughs> the destruction. Nice. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, wow, this entire site is gone. Yeah, that's uh, looking at where the reinforcements are going to come from. There's no towers here either. Yeah, that's... I'm going to set up here, I think. Settlement's on fire. Uh, yeah, they got minus five morale, melee attack, and melee defense. Brill. Still don't quite understand why your melee attack and melee defense goes down from a bit of settlement damage. Like, morale, I understand, but you don't become a worse fighter because of that, do you? Um... Oh, I've forgotten how to hit someone. <laughs> Because the settlement's on fire. Yeah, I would have thought it was sort of boosted you, in, in fact. You yeah, know? like, oh, they're Half destroying day. our... Yeah, get them, boys. I don't know. Right. 
I guess it's just like a from a gameplay perspective, it sort of makes sense. They become worse because they're distraught. They have a ton of cavalry here. Oh wow, they're okay. Yeah, they're gonna come to me as well. Oh, right. uh, oh yeah, I've got your honor, Jujan. Yeah. Oh, what's this unit? Celtic band. Love a bit of Celtic band. Axe band as well. Right. So, is that all the reinforcements? The oh, there's more. Approaches. Yeah, there's still more coming in. Oh, that was a good hit right there. There you go. Alright, thank you, sir. I will do my best to get them all killed. <laughs> Oh, the more cav. Oh. Hey, pop those uh, archers up, move them into skirmish. Me. Right, where's my onager range? Where's the energy even out there? This. Oh, I'm nearly in range already. We're just slowly moving everything up. They're just sitting there taking it. Yeah. Energy's not being very accurate today. Nah, although they're in a really odd like line formation, aren't they? We have laid great chunks of Our settlement is almost a ruin. Oh, they're losing even more morale. On Melee attacking on. Oh, because their city like started on fire. That's cool. Yeah, so it's looking like the, the fire has gone through the city. I'm just wondering if I can burn it a bit more. <laughs> just destroy everything. Cost you six turns of income to repair it, but who cares? Oh crap! You guys are be running. Sorry. Name it that spear unit anyway. Uh, this sword unit for the archers. That was a couple of good shots with the Onager then. Nice. What I did by mistake, um, I should remember this one, is you know, you click with an Onager and target the unit. Yeah. You'll, you'll never hit. If you click, press Alt and click on the ground just next to the unit, accurate shots all the time. Okay. Destroyed over here. I like how this onager is moving forward, but I'm shooting with one of them as well, so the rest is still <laughs> moving. I think I'm just going to do this the ballroom way, to be honest, and uh, do it with the archers. Yeah, why not? Oh, there's some uh, range units coming up on there, and now. Uh... Yeah, I've just switched to, to start shooting at them. They're in loose formation, but uh, should get enough damage in them. Alright. Honorger, you can do your own shooting from now on. Enemy units have been rallied. Oh my god, from the tornish units getting destroyed. There it goes. See you later. They came out a bit uh, ballsy there. Yeah. Oh, wait, why are you doing that? <laughs> he's got proper range on us, and he's like, nah, I think I'll just walk right up to them. <laughs> Maybe I'll just scare them. Did they have an advantage? Just in time for it to uh, die. They've lost eight morale melee attack and melee defense now. Got an egg. Might be worth actually firing a shot. Um. You see on the left, there's like an archer or a watchtower, and then there's two units on the walls right next yeah. to it. But that wall is like, there's one part which is 76% hit. Uh, one hit on it will destroy all of that unit, I reckon. Yeah, have you got any rounds left? Mine's gone. Uh, yes, but I'm not in range, so let me just move over there. I have a whole bunch left. Ready, 
Might be a while before Let's I get there. That. Yeah, it's gonna be. I might speed this up to be honest and just do it as the archer game. Yeah, go for it. It's a bit on normal speed if they come too close. Yeah, it's usually a bit boring to watch this one, but it's it's the best way to attack and limit the amount of troops you lose. Indeed. Right. It's not speeding up. For, have you? You got to do it as well. <laughs> no, it's just the you. It is triple speed. It just doesn't really look like triple speed. Oh yeah. No, when uh, I only get an option when we're both playing in the same battle. All right, let's give this thing a shot. Yeah, it'd be good if you can take that wall down actually and kill all those units with it. I'm in range, I'm not sure why we're not firing. Do you know I had that bug the other day? Um, I had... It just wouldn't let me fire. Oh. For some reason. Oh, they're firing now, so that's alright. That's actually that wall with the 82% is the corner wall, so... Yeah, they're just moving onto the oh, corner no. now. Oh no. Oh my god, I missed. It's on 90%. Take one or two hits. Seventy-one. Uh, nope. That, there we go. There we go. Oh, what? The walls have yeah, killed a few. I'll just start yeah, firing at the, the units again. Now. Yeah. Oh, these cohorts are tanking this missile damage pretty well. Yeah, they are. Horse. Get some volleys in there. Oh, right. Palatina broke. I want to keep you. Uh, I've only got about one valley left on my archers, so. Uh, I've got a few left. Move them up a bit. And the orange are still firing as well. Slowly, but surely. Send them the dogs. Woof woof. Aww. Why are they, like, if they're just getting bumped, oh my god, is my game crashing? Yeah, I'm right. oh, almost a bit there. Right. Yeah, it's fine now. Mm. Oh, that was a good hit. There we go, the dogs have just chewed through those units. That's four units of dogs have done that. <laughs> nice. So I'll send up the, the, uh, the troops now. Oh. Keep lagging, what's happening here? Yeah. All right, what do I have? They've got tons of units of routing and stuff now. Only got a few volleys left. Okay, I'm just gonna put it into normal speed, wondering if that's what's causing the. Uh... Yeah, maybe. All right, let's move in. I think they eventually figured out like, maybe we should come out since we're getting slaughtered by range fire. Instead, they're like, nah, let's wait around we'll here. We'll just sit here and then take it. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Look shields, the right? There, though, you know? I was like, you remember at the beginning of the campaign, I was saying dogs are out here and yeah. they really use them. They're just charging everything down there. The dogs will, will break everything there. Run, curse you! Alright, all my range units are out except for the javelin men. I have to move the spears and they've got some uh, cavalry there. The 
the dog's still going. Good doggies. <laughs> Right, a lot of this cavalry that's in the town's pretty much full units. Um, yeah. I think I'll probably lead him with the spears. Try and hit some more of those uh, sword units coming up. Cavalry. Get out of there, man. Right. Oh, the dogs blocked the charge from the cavalry for you. Yep. Oh, they got rear charge, so I didn't want. Did, did the actual dogs themselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, no, like, on, the, on the rear, yeah. Oh, there's another unit you know, coming in now. And then oh. they get uh, good attack versus cavalry anyway on the dog units. Yeah, indeed. They're a spear unit of sorts. Men are broken and are fleeing. Broken? What is this nonsense? Uh, it's one of my dog units. Uh, yeah, it's got obliterated. So I've lost two dog units here, really. They've only got like 30, 40 men. But, you know, they've took out a full unit of cav there. Yeah. They've got another cav charge maybe coming in. No. I'll just move them out. They're taking a lot of missile fire from that small arch. Yep, we're going to take a cav charge. Oh, the Ooh, lag is back. They're desync here. Uh oh. Did it actually come up with a message about desync? No, I'm just wondering if it is a desync. Well, let's hope we can finish the battle because that was a fairly long battle so far. Yeah. That's annoying. This is taking a little bit too long for my liking. Is it just like frozen on your screen? Yeah. Same here. You really think after like three or four games of co-op they'd fix something like that? It's every, every single type of war at the moment. Yeah, okay, exactly. It has this issue. Come on, game, recover. Oh, I can't believe I'm fighting this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm watching, well, not watching, seeing a frozen image of your spearman about to charge into a cavalry unit. Looks pretty in interesting right there. Oh. What? I got a bit of a catch up. Oh, here, yeah, we go. here we go. Yes, okay. Oh, it, yep. Oh, it's not working properly, but just kill them quickly and get out of here. Yeah. Right, so there's the action it's in. Again. Oh my god, this battle. Just wondering, I, I am a bit concerned it's my PC because it's really hot here today. Ah, oh, I see. Oh my god. I'm throwing javelins at this unit on the walls, and like 9 out of 10 javelins are hitting, are bouncing off the wall. It's kind of funny, actually. broken and running for their lives. Yeah, it's looking like it might actually be my PC. It's uh, the game's using up all my CPU at the moment. Hmm. Oh, damn. Probably stop after this one then. After this episode, uh, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do a, a reboot or something. Then. Yeah, the pauses are coming in. I get a, P, uh, a PCU spike. A uh, CPU spike, PCU. <laughs> <laughs> CPU spike, and then uh, it sort of pauses a little bit. I see. 
Well, this battle's nearly won. There's only a general and a bunch of cav units left. Two ranged units. That general's just sitting there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's doing. Um, What's your game plan, General? Everything's broken except for the General. John, why is he just sitting there? It's like, oh, he's taking my victory like... point? Oh, whatever. Yeah. Marcus Leterensis, you're a coward. Soon to be dead. Yeah, I'm throwing jabs on him as well. Oh, he's going into loose formation now. Deadly missiles ready. Oh, the Archie Tower is bucking him up. That's why he's sitting there. He's like, oh, this Archie Tower will save my life. You know, I might have seen off that Archer Tower with the strength of that uh, spear unit. Oh, he's charging in. Oh, but he's gone. Oh, there we go. I just don't know. I don't want to take any more casualties. Yeah, that's a good idea. And, and the game's being bloody... a bit weird. Yeah. I, I really, I don't think I've ever seen in this game a general getting killed by ranged uh, attacks. By like, um, like Javs or Archers or something. Um, I've seen one with crossbows. Oh, but yeah. it was, uh... It was eight units of crossbows all firing into one general unit, pretty much rinsed it in one. Oh wow, yeah. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> but they're very powerful, the crossbows, I love them. Oh, as soon as I get them, it's... That guy just got his head chopped off. I mean, you wouldn't I have know. seen it, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I lost well, the one, one I got was straight, sort of, straight through the face. Uh, I got a little bit of income lost. from... Uh... So look at this, the provincial instability, how long does that last? Uh, I'm going to sack and then uh, peacefully occupy. I still don't quite understand why sacking gives you more money than looting. Isn't it essentially the same thing? Uh, looting usually gives a bit more. Looting was 1400 there for me. Uh, sacking was 700 Right. Uh, it gives a lot more than raising. Raising, you get next to nothing. Yeah, that also doesn't really make sense. Like, you'd think that you'd take the, vi the valuables and then burn the place down. For the pride. Ready for battle. Faction destroyed. Britain. Except they still have, like, two Britain separatists. Oh, that you're attacking right now, I see. Yeah, yeah I'm just getting rid of the... Oh, ow. Properly dead. It <laughs> <laughs> was only an Onager unit and a general. Be gone. I'll take our warriors there. I still don't. I don't like that feature sometimes. But I spawn a general instantly. Like, where does he come from? It's out of thin air. It's, hey, you guys, a general for your army. Yeah, it should. I, I think it's because armies have to have a general as such. Yeah, exactly. Since like Rome. It's a gameplay well, choice that they made, but it doesn't really yeah. make sense. Nor is it because it's annoying when you defeat an army but you can't reach it a second time or something and then the next turn they just spawn a new general in there oh, they, especially when it's like a small army of only a few units you destroy their army general respawns they respawn like a big strong unit right away which can make a big difference if it's only like a few units anyway so it's just kind of silly but eh, it's a gameplay decision they made Not sure what upgrade to do with my general here. Um, this is a, a main. Let's see which one was the main general. That one that's upgraded is, is going to be my main general, I think. I'll go for the, the defense and the uh, attack. I'll just make sure that he's got fatigue rate on ranged. And pay line of sight. Is that going to be the best? Missile damage plus five for cavalry units. Hmm. Go with a line of sight still. Uh, there's nothing really upgradable there. Right. Uh, I've got 1200. Let's have a look at building something here, I think. There's nothing built at all. In, um... And I've got no money, so 
I won't be building anything. <laughs> that is a shame. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. I'm really Minus not making... 90 food. I'm not making that much money either. I'm really thinking, like, this navy is just costing me money, and it's I haven't used it at all, except from the beginning, basically. Uh... It's just nice, because it, it can destroy entire, like, enemy armies by itself. Um, like, just because, oh, I'd see anyway, like, a navy versus an army. got such a massive advantage, but besides that... I tend to, I mean, say you were going to go and attack the Franks, you could use it as a, a reinforcing army, or a, a, as an attacking army, and it, it's like having another smaller army with you. Yeah, no, I agree um, with that. It's definitely got its uses, but it's so expensive right now. Raiding trade routes as well brings oh, yeah, in quite that's a bit of, I need to do. Um, yeah. income with it. So if you can find an enemy trade route and go and raid the trade route, well, it should pay for the unit, and it'll, the unit, the unit. I think they get experience as well. Hmm. Not hundred percent sure on that one. Uh, right, quick look at my family tree, and then uh, I'll end my turn. I need a wife still. Um, this guy, general. No, 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 no. He's already in office. No, I'm, let me just have a look at my offices. I'm thinking of moving. Ready for orders. Yeah, I'm going to start moving a general through the ranks. That means kick him from there. And then... Oh, why did I do that? Right, I need some uh, influence on my admiral that I can put him in office. Having some real loyalty problems at the moment. Uh, I'm going to do a gather support to see if I can get up to the next power. Uh, that's me done. Oh, I can assign a provincial governor. Yeah, that's the one you didn't want to do before, but now you do. Yeah, um, I might as well now. Uh, How much are you making a turn now? 2,400. Okay, now. So run an edict in Britannia, in the, uh, Britannia Superior. I'll go with uh, construction cost and growth, because it's all been desolated. I need quite a bit of growth here, so I might as well go for that. Uh, yeah, 2,411 a turn. Um, I was on high taxes, though. All oh, right. Uh, wow. So it's like I've just turned the taxes up to high, 4,000. Yeah, normal taxes, 2,394. Obviously, there was a bit of a bug there. It hadn't updated the income. Weird. Yeah. Uh, has there been an update on Rome 2 recently? Uh, on Attila? Uh, not as far as I'm aware. I right. can't, can't remember seeing any. I was, uh, all the, the reason I asked, I was playing my Geats the other day and uh, Herdman had fear. I, I don't remember them having fear. Herdman? Which ones are those? Oh, those units that I can make later. Uh, they're a Viking unit. Yeah, you get them uh, when you upgrade your warlord. You know, the, the Chieftain's Hut and stuff? Yeah. It's your first... Proper like defensive unit. Yeah. Yeah. And now they've got fear with them, and I don't remember them having fear. Right. It's, they're immune to fear. They, they scare everybody. And got shield wall, and they're tanky as hell. <laughs> <coughs> you are not excused. How dare you cough in my presence? I spoke too much. I really need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. I want to see what the Rugians think of me. Oh yeah, I've got a non-aggression with them. They don't like me very much, but they don't hate you me. You have the ear of my people. Do not waste words. We are worthy of better. They're not going to go for a defensive alliance. Um, oh right, that's you. I was going to say, wow, the pigs love me, but yeah, that's you. That's me, yeah. Saxons <laughs> like me as well, though. Ferenians still dislike me, but we're improving. We're only mi minus 52 now, so maybe we'll actually be able to keep them as a uh, tributary state. That'd be quite the handy. Burgund Burgundians are, are apparently going from minus 102 to minus 184. 
the there's a minus 110 from past treaties with with the Picts. So maybe. yeah, the Burgundians I couldn't get peace with. I got peace with the uh, Varinians. Oh, that's why I'm approving with them. Yeah, yeah, they uh, they really hate you a lot. I know, and I've got a full stack and a 15 stack coming my way as well. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's let's see. Can I? Where did? Oh right, yeah. I was gonna say I can take him, but then I. You'd um, lose your subjugators. And yeah, exactly. The Varinians would probably declare on you on that one. Yeah, that too. Plus, if I move out, I'm pretty sure the Varinians would just attack me, and the Rugians maybe as well, because they're like right on my border too, just sitting there waiting. Um, I was gonna do something. Like, oh right, I was gonna check what I get from going to high taxes. How much happiness does that even give? Minus 10 and minus 1 growth. And that would make only a tiny bit more money, so it's not really worth it. Minimal taxes. Oh, people love that. Plus 4 growth, hell. Alright, but I can't afford to go any lower on taxes. I need my money. Oh my god, my integrity is dangerously low right now for my navy. Really? Yeah. I guess Ooh. because it hasn't fought anything for so long. So minus one per turn. Uh, how do you raid? Do you have to be an enemy like... Yeah, it costs 50% of your movement. Um, it's weird though, it costs 50%, but if you initiate raid before you move, it'll take all your movement off you. Oh, right. Um, you could raid in your... Seas and raid the trade route in your seas, but you will take a public order penalty for it. Hmm. Uh, so it's usually better finding an enemy's trade area or a non. So as you can see, where the Rugians are, yeah, that's you've got sort thinking. of a sea border there. Yeah. So if you were to pop into the mare of uh, Somaticum, which is neutral waters, and start raiding there, you wouldn't take any penalties. And if you sort of did it over their trade route, you'd be raiding their trade route and getting some income. Right. It does give um, yeah, it does give uh, diplomacy penalties there. Not that high, to be honest. Okay. Um, I do it quite often, even with friendlies, and it, it's not that high a diplomacy knock. I think actually yeah. I'll go on uh, patrol, which raises my integrity by four. And uh, I lose, or I gain, I get, I lose less to piracy, basically, which is all right yeah, as well. Yeah, uh, let's do that. I think. Let's let's see and let's see if it gives me a. I've never done that before. I'm gonna do it right it's, here. Yeah, it's not giving me a an information on on the sea at the moment of how much you income you lose to uh, piracy. Oh yeah, I should it have looked at my number. Like... It says um. Minus 21% wealth for, for me. I don't sure if that already takes into account when he's patrolling or maybe that happens next. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, at least my, um, my, my integrity is going up, which is more important than anything for me right now. Yeah, mine's uh, Camilla Dunham outside that because it's contested seas. I get minus 54% wealth from maritime commerce for piracy. Oh, wow. And yeah. plus 10% naval recruitment. I see. We see. Alright, anyway, I can't really do much, so let's move on. My income's like 650, so. Oh, well, yeah, if you need money, just give me a nudge. No, I don't really need anything right now. It's just more that I can't really do anything with the money that I've got. It's going to save up a little bit. But um, as my times get happier, which they are getting happier a lot fast, or quite fast now, the income will go up as well every 25%. So. Yeah, the growth as well, so you're going to be able to build. Yeah, okay. exactly. So I just got to keep that in mind. Where the hell are the geeks going? <laughs> Those damn geeks. So what's your plan now? Not if you're taking back the entirety of Britain, you're just going to sit here and get everything happy first? Uh, yeah. Essentially, I'm going to have to turtle up a little bit. Yeah. Um, I've got two. Those two Burgundian armies are sort of sailing up towards Scotland, so I'm a bit concerned. Oh yeah, that's annoying. About that. Um... Yes, Rugians, get out of here. I don't really want to recruit another army because I could support another army, but then I won't have income to build up. I'm thinking of using my money 
at the moment to build up. I'm low on food. Hmm. So, I've had a rebellion. Yeah, that was inevitable. Are you going to let us sit there for a turn, or...? The rebellion. Uh, I might Can't as reach... well, you know. I mean, I can, I can just... It looks like it could only reach Carinium. So if you move your army there, yeah, then they can't really yeah. do anything. Silly rebel army. Did you not see what happened to the last rebel army? <laughs> you would think that he wouldn't rebel. <laughs> you don't understand. So, I'm going to repair. Oh, What the hell? The the Lazica have just changed their religion to Zoroastrian. I've never heard of that. Is that like the Amiras of Zoro or something? Is that their god? Uh, the Zoroastrian, I think that's the some, uh, Sassanid religion. Oh, right. Yeah, that, that the, the, sounds... Down close by the... Uh... Sounds logical. Ooh, go on the Western right. Roman Empire at war. There's one there that you might want to keep an eye on. It's the Rugians and the Huns. Now, and the Lugians and the Huns, which is a bit of a pain. Um, because the Huns will raise. So it might be worth sending your navy over towards Gothiscanza and having a nosy to see if you can get an opportunity to snatch that. Because if they move out to take on the Huns and leave it undefended, you can take it. If they, if you just sit there and wait for that war to play out, the Huns will come and raise Gothiscanza. True. Although that would be quite far away from the Maiorotans, wouldn't I? It would, but it'd sort of give you control of a, a province with your two allies. You know, your two tributaries that are there. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's always the backstab on the Burgundians to get that salt resource as well, if you chose. I do have a non-aggression as well, though, with the Rugians, which means that I would become unreliable and all that. Yeah, it would be tricky for diplomacy. Right. Let's have a look at these armies. So I've got a mercenary unit that I'm going to get rid of. Right. This recruitment only three units of turns. Absolutely, and it's really annoying. <laughs> Two S's, yeah, two S's is my capital, isn't it? Yes. Was it Aiden? No, two S's. That's annoying because then I have to build the, you know, I'd, I'd rather have convert my town centre building into uh, market stalls or something like that. But if I want to get the warlords keep in there, I'll we'll have to do it with that one. Um, smithy being built. Having a look at your um, ships compared to mine, and mine have the Taoist fire ability, yours don't, so they don't know how to put out a fire. I know, <laughs> I've got frenzy though. <laughs> I like how you've got average fire resistance, which is apparently a bad thing. Like, it's like a. Oh, and morale as well, average morale is apparently bad now. I thought average was alright, but no, it's bad according to this game. Oh, I don't make it. Never mind. Oh well. Right, so I'm just uh, going to focus on Londinium a little bit. Um, I've got a massive negative food here, so I'll just build a, a farmstead and a well because I've got um, sanitation problems. I can't repair the city in Londinium because it's, wow, nearly 4,000 to repair that. That's gonna be uh that's gonna take a while. And that's pretty much my turn done. I get some trade with the Runians. Nope. And trade with the Rugians. No, nope, they don't like none of these like me over there. Have a look at Gaul. Uh, 
Well, they don't like me either. No one likes you. Uh, there's not. I mean, the Caledonians like me. Surprisingly. Alamans do. The Franks, the Geats, the Jutes, Saxons, the Swabians as well. Uh, it's just a shame that a lot of the ones that like me um, don't have any way to trade with me. Look at the family tree. Still nobody I can appoint because uh, I've got no influence on the on the Admiral. And I put the wrong person in the go as a governor. Well done. I know. Let me just check if I did. Uh, no, the research rate faction wide. Upkeep cost minus five for local province. Unit experience plus three for all recruits in the governed province and corruption minus 30 in the governed province. So public order plus four. No, he's, he's all right. It's the, you know, the one that I got from the story. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's not a bad governor. All on right. Let's see, I just wanted to lo look at these units. Viking Raiders. Oh yeah, they're pretty good. Right, offer secured, good. Okay, I think I'm gonna build a village in my capital. Improve the growth by plus one, hell yeah. Really, because I have nothing else to spend money on, to be honest. <laughs> That was one hell of a turn. But I think that'll be that. I'm gonna leave my navy because yeah, the the um integrity is just so low. I could just disband it and then integrity wouldn't be an issue anymore either. But then I don't have a navy. Uh well I mean that is a, quite an option because well, if you've upgraded that yeah, you've upgraded to the Better ships as well, haven't you? So they're more expensive. Yeah. So you've no real use for it. That that navy's costing you about fifteen hundred. Uh, yeah, about that. Maybe more. Yeah, they should do general as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's quite a lot of money, and it's not really doing any anything for me right now. Which is why I just sort of not sure. I mean, it depends where you want to go and attack. I mean, you've sort of everywhere you can go. You've got yourself sort of locked in with um, allies. <laughs> yeah, I have. Unless you start looking at... I'd, I'd start looking at Gaul myself. At Belgica. It's just annoying because I don't want anybody... Like, I don't really want to be too split up for myself. Like, from uh, my other provinces, basically. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's annoying. I really want to just take Gophus Kanza and just take the Varinians out because they don't even... They're not that strong. I mean, I've got one army near me. I can just take that out and then... We can just like swoop in on Rujan, but then I lose all the diplomatic shit as well. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I think I will get rid of my navy though. Boom, it's done. Now I'm up to 2400 bucks as well. Turn. Nice. I'll probably build up my second army instead. Just have two strong armies, and I'll probably pay the same, but I'd rather have two good armies than like one shitty army and a navy that I don't know it's just annoying the navy is useful but it's not that useful anyway they, they sort of come more useful mid to late game I feel yeah um I can always build up a new navy if I have to as well it's uh -huh. not like it's too big a deal to do that it's uh oh there's the Burgundians uh, yeah but on what they're doing Ooh, Saxons, what are they doing over there? Well, that's, uh, I think we're coming up to about an hour now, are we? Yep. I was just going to say what ended after yeah. this turn. See if anything happens. Yeah, I want to have a look at my processes as well. And to be honest, I've had a couple of issues with a few games that I'm playing, and it's ever since I've had a a Windows sort of update going, you can have Windows 10 for free, and ever since that's been on my PC, my PC's just gone, Nye. no, don't like it. <laughs> I, still, <laughs> like... I still don't trust that whole, like, getting Windows for free. 
stuff that's um, going on. Oh there's my a guy God. that I was watching on stream, and every time he closes his game down, he has to unplug his mouse and plug it back in, or he can't use his mouse. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> annoying. So was, all I've got from his stream so far is, don't install Windows 10. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I just think it's weird. Like, even for pirated versions, get Windows 10 for free. It's like, eh, it sounds a bit shady. Why would they do that? There's probably some ulterior motive that it doesn't. They don't tell us about. Yeah, I think the Varinians are on the verge of attacking me. I mean, they've got two and a half armies. Just well, basically two armies just sitting right next to me. Right next to Angulus. If they do, I, I, I'll be happy. Receive them, destroy them, and then take Rujion. But I think we should end it here. Yep, I think, uh, and this is this part of the uh, the campaign here, and then uh, see where we go from there. Indeed. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you again next time. Yeah, we'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>